Hi students, how are you? I hope each one among you are doing great and well. Welcome to Subnet's classes. This is Rehmat Latif, your biology educator. In this video, we are going to learn about breathing and exchange of gases. So without wasting any time, let's get started. As we all know that oxygen and carbon dioxide are being inhaled and exhaled respectively. Oxygen is inhaled and carbon dioxide is exhaled. Okay. We all know this that particularly talking about humans or any other living organism, oxygen is usually inhaled and carbon dioxide is exhaled. Right? Talking about any animal, any, you know, human being, any living organism except plants but plants also require oxygen we will learn that in plant physiology not here here we are particularly talking about humans it's human physiology okay so now the question is why oxygen is being used hold on now the question is Okay, now the question is why oxygen is being used, okay? You know, in digestion we learned that we just consume biomacromolecules, food substances, right? We just consume biomacromolecules and they are being they are being converted into bio micro molecules right for that purpose we need oxygen because it's oxygen which helps in breakdown of bio macro molecules into bio micro molecules please remember that it's oxygen which converts bio macro molecules into bio micro molecules and and carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is being exhaled in this process okay because that's not exhaled sorry it's being you know removed from cells during this process in cells oxygen is required so that bio macromolecules will get converted to bio micromolecules and during this process carbon dioxide is being removed okay now you got the point why oxygen is being used right why oxygen is being used oxygen is utilized by organisms in order to break down simple molecules like glucose amino acid fatty acids in order to derive energy from them i'll write it down here i hope this concept is clear right let me write it down okay see Okay, see, <clears throat> we need to convert glucose, amino acids, fatty acid into much simpler forms. Okay, for this process, we need oxygen. And during this process, carbon dioxide is being removed. Why? Because carbon dioxide is being considered as harmful product. Okay. I hope this concept is clear that it is being considered as harmful product. That's why we need to um, remove the, this clearly. Okay. So that's why we just inhale oxygen in order to uh, break down simple molecules like glucose, fatty acids in order to derive energy from them. Moreover, this is catabolic reaction now. As I already mentioned, that bio macromolecules, bio macromolecules gets converted into bio micromolecules. For this process, 
in order to convert bio macromolecule into bio micromolecule this is catabolic reaction catabolic reaction simply means when there is one you know large substance it is being converted into simpler forms this is catabolic reaction here we need oxygen and carbon dioxide is being released because carbon dioxide is being uh, considered as harmful product okay i hope this concept is clear and this conversion this process of exchange of oxygen from the atmospheric air with co2 produced by cells is called breathing commonly known as respiration i'll write it here breathing exchange of o2 and co2 with atmospheric air and from the cells respectively that is known as breathing and commonly known as respiration commonly known as respiration okay i hope this concept is clear very nice moving forward now different organisms have different respiratory organs okay let me erase it different organisms have different respiratory organ organs and it depends on what it depends on it depends on uh, respiratory organs how how different respira respiratory organs are present in different organisms it mainly depends on the habitat and level of organization okay of organism respiratory organs different organisms organisms have different respiratory organs mainly based on based on what their habitat on habitat and level of organization different organisms have different respiratory organs mainly based on habitat and level of organization okay i hope this concept is clear very nice now we will talk about different organ organisms which have different organs okay like particularly talking about lower invertebrates like sponge cilentrates flatworms ex exchange of oxygen by co2 takes place through diffusion okay over the body surface over the body surface diffusion occurs diffusion simply means say for example here i have large concentration of oxygen here inside the body i have lower concentration of oxygen diffusion means from higher concentration to lower concentration that means oxygen will take place will um, enter into the body surface because inside body surface we have so you know we have least amount of carbon uh, oxygen there okay i hope this concept is clear i'll erase it okay talking about sponges cilentrates flatworms respiration takes place with the help of simple diffusion okay talking about insects they have tube like structures on their head that tube is known as tracheal tubes which helps in respiration okay talking about earthworms respiration or breathing took place through moist skin okay through moist skin i hope this concept is clear right talking about fishes mostly aquatic animals aquatic arthropods mollusks how they exchange the gases how they 
how respiration took place in them i'll write it here that respiration will take place through gills okay that respiration will take place through gills and that type of respiration is known as brachial bronchial bronchial respiration okay those organisms which have gills in them we call them bronchial respiration and most of us terrestrial organ organisms we have lungs inside us complex organisms and this type of respiration is known as pulmonary respiration okay i hope this concept about lungs about gills is clear right fishes use gills while amphibians reptiles birds mammals respire through lungs talking about frogs they also respire through moist skin okay i hope this concept is clear okay we will particular since this is human physiology we will mostly consider humans here we will learn about human respiratory system rather than other systems okay human respiratory system talking about human respiratory system our respiratory system starts right from here from nostrils we have a pair of external nostrils above our upper lips okay it leads to our nasal chamber see we have nostrils it will lead to nostrils will lead to nasal chamber through nasal passage okay nasal chamber will open into pharynx which is common box of esophagus and trachea as i already mentioned in digestion it will open up into pharynx pharynx will open up into larynx region larynx means sound box okay larynx means sound box pharynx will open up into larynx pharynx will open up into larynx and larynx region will open up into trachea okay through larynx it will get into trachea that's why larynx is known as it produces sound that's why we call it as sound box during swallowing one time swallowing uh, anything okay i am just eating something i'll swallow that down there is a glottis trachea opening of trachea is cover has an opening known as glottis which is covered by a thin epiglottis that's cartilaginous flap which just uh, protects this uh, um, opening of trachea that is glottis okay and trachea is a straight tube trachea is a straight tube extending up to the mid thoracic cavity which divides at the fifth thoracic cavity trachea is a straight tube it will trachea will extend up to mid thoracic cavity and it will divide up to the fifth thoracic vertebra it will divide into fifth thoracic at fifth thoracic vertebra into right and left primary bronchi into right and left primary bronchi okay i hope this concept is clear and then each bronchi each right and left bronchi this is trachea it will get divided like this fifth thoracic vertebra it will get divided like this and this further it will get divided into bronchia okay you will take its uh, you will see it refer diagram of this it will get divide each bronchi bronchi be that primary bronchi or secondary bronchi it will sorry right and left bronchi okay it will get convert it will divide into secondary tertiary bronchi okay secondary and tertiary bronchi and then the primary secondary tertiary bronchi will get 
divided into bronchioles it will get divided into bronchioles okay i hope this concept is clear it will get divided into bronchioles and each terminal bronchiole is very thin each terminal bronchiole is very thin uh, it will get give a rise to a number of very thin irregular walled vascularized bag like structure called as alveoli alveoli is not like this it has irregular walls it's like this alveoli is like this and it's thin walled okay alveoli is thin walled please remember alveoli is thin walled structure okay and bronchio bronchi bronchiole and alveoli mainly lungs are not, lungs does not start right from here nostrils i just said nos from nostrils um, it starts up the human respiratory system but lungs शुरू होता है कहाँ से लंग्स विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वेयर लंग स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ब्रोंकाय ब्रोंक्योल्स ओके एंड एलवियोलाई ब्रोंकाय ब्रोंक्योल्स एंड एलवियोलाई कंप्राइज लंग्स एंड वी हैव टू लंग्स वन फ्रॉम राइट साइड वन फ्रॉम लेफ्ट साइड एंड ईच लंग इज कवर्ड बाय अ डबल डबल लेयर लंग इज कवर्ड बाय लंग्स आर कवर्ड बाय डबल लेयर ओके and this is known as pleural membrane and this membrane has pleural fluid inside them which reduces friction okay i hope this concept is clear obviously outer pleural membrane is in contact with thoracic lining while as inner thoracic inner pleural membrane is in contact with lung surface okay i hope this concept is clear i'll again explain human respiratory system starts right from nostrils it enters into nasal chamber through this nasal passage finally this nasal chamber will open up into pharynx which is common passage of esophagus and trachea pharynx will open up into larynx which is sound box so larynx will get into thoracic th trachea trachea is a long tube which extends to the fifth thoracic vertebra and it gets divided into right and left primary bronchi primary bronchi are further divided into secondary tertiary bronchi further it is it gets converted into sorry divided into bronchioles bronchiole will give rise to thin walled structure thin walled irregular structure known as alveoli and lungs are you know they are two in number we have pair of lungs one on right side and another one on left side lungs are covered by pleural membrane which has pleural fluid in between them pleural why pleural fluid because in order to reduce the friction outer membrane is in close contact with um, thoracic lining and inner membrane is in close contact with lung surface okay and human respiratory star system starts right from nostrils but talking about um, what we call it as but talking about uh, lungs lungs are constituted by bronchi bronchioles and alveoli not from nostrils okay i hope this concept is clear this this was basic about uh, our respiration how respiration occurs what is the system involved further i am going to discuss again in next session i am going to discuss conducting part and you know other parts as well of human respiratory system so i'll meet you in any other interesting session till then goodbye take care thank you thank you so much